Uh, let's bring in New York Republican Congresswoman Claudia Tenney. Uh, Congresswoman, thanks so much uh, for your time. You know, we were talking about the politics and the moment. Our latest Fox News poll has uh, the former president up 30 points on his nearest contender, uh, the Florida governor, Ron DeSantis, who's obviously not in the race. It's very early, but it's a big lead in the GOP primary. Today, politics aside, as a congresswoman from New York, your thoughts on this indictment and the moves that are being made? Well, first of all, this is a gross abuse of power. Uh, we've known that Alvin Bragg was planning on doing this. This is a guy who I think some of your prior guests mentioned that he would be downgrading in a statement and would not be prosecuting violent crimes. And so now he chooses to uh, abuse power in this way. Had Lee Zeldin been elected, his first act was to fire Alvin Bragg because of his abuse of power. But this is not a surprise to any of us, especially on the Republican side, as we've seen the Democrats completely politicized just about every institution, the FBI, the IRS, the Department of Justice, Homeland Security. You just saw Matt Taibbi testify and have an IRS agent at his door, a really unusual circumstance. And I think a lot of this, and that's the, that's the first tier of it, the second tier I see is why this case, and you've seen Jonathan Turley and other experts talking about this being a weak case. Even Alan Dershowitz has made a statement, this is a weak case. But what this case is, is salacious. It's clickbait. It's something that you can get the attention of a mass number of people to mobilize, to try to, to criticize the president in what I call, I mean, how many impeachments is this? The first impeachment, the second impeachment, the Mueller uh, indictment attempt now and then you had the January 6th now you've got this glorification and exploitation of President Trump's you know very strong uh, you know well obviously as 100% name ID he's a celebrity and this is great clickbait and and great for the Democrats to attack someone that they can't stand and they lust to see him get the mug shots to see him uh, go through humiliation they have. But as I, I agree with Jonathan Turley, this is his arena, chaos, uh, the limelight, the excitement. He does well in this environment. So I think it could be a mistake mm -hmm. on the part of Alvin Bragg and the Democrats. Yeah, and I, I want to prepare people. You know, Jonathan Turley, Turley talked about what's coming. You're going to see a lot of things legally, a motion to dismiss, uh, prosecutorial uh, misconduct possibilities, a change of venue. All of these things are going to happen uh, legally after you get this arraignment, likely early next week. But politically, Congresswoman, uh, do you believe in the bank shot that some Democrats have said that, sure, get him all the attention, get him all the focus, get him the GOP nomination because because we as Democrats, they say, are in a better position to win the presidency if we're running against Donald Trump. You know, that's an interesting question. This could actually backfire on them because it may be something that could prevent President Trump from getting the nomination. And then they but any of our candidates, I believe, on the Republican side are defeating Joe Biden if he ends up being their candidate. And so uh, I don't see how this is a win-win in any case for the Democrats. And what could be really inglorious is in the event that this case gets dismissed on a procedural ground, such as the statute of limitations has been violated, meaning it's too late to bring a case like this, and the fact that the federal, the, the federal prosecutors have already rejected this case. And it's going to be a real hard climb. To, I mean, you, as they say, you can indict the ham sandwich, which is what they're trying to do here, uh, mostly for political exploitation and, as I said, media excitement. But I don't think there I don't know if this is really going to impact uh, the, mm -hmm. you know, who ends up becoming the nominee. Uh, we'll see. We'll see what Iowa had. That's a, a over like a less than a year, actually, away and we'll see what the, that That's looks right. like. It'll heat up very soon. Uh, Congresswoman Claudia Tenney, we appreciate your time on a breaking news night. Thank you.